Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by you, if you are a patron, and one of my favorite grind bands, period. And when I saw they had some new material coming out, I was all over it, like flies on shit. But we have some of the best Finnish grindcore, period, right now. And that is the latest from the mighty Sonic Poison grinded leftovers, which includes a side cover, which I thought by good choice. 12 minutes of just blistering death grind. Head Split Records. Seven original tracks and the side cover. So good. Like legitimately so good. And the side cover is mentally numb. But when it comes to Sonic Poison, I'm a big, big fan. And as a fan, it kind of bums me out that I do not have this on vinyl. The full length from Sonic Poison on Caligari, I think MSUO did the vinyl. But, Eruption, probably one of the most underrated, amazing slabs of grind in the past couple years. So having Leftovers as the follow-up EP, good shit, like, because yesterday I did a playthrough of Eruption and went right into Grinded Leftovers and was just like, alright, like, hell yeah. We bring on, like, I can't wait for the second full length from Finland Sonic Poison. And one of the things I like the most about Sonic Poison is their influence from Repulsion. Now here, it still has that like classic 80s like grind sound where it is like a nice mix of death metal and grind. And when you go back to Harsh Demonstration, which is the only Sonic Poison release I do not have on cassette. And I did not grab the X Slaughter split. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I grabbed uh, Funeral Horror Epidemic by mistake. But awesome split with those two bands. And we still have the same lineup of Juicy, E2, and Nico, of Deadly Veracities and Other Atrocities, 2015, 2016. Look at that cover. Oh yeah, who did that cover, by the way? Cover art by... Isemaman Kolanti. All I know is fuck yeah, and the Sonic Poison logo is done by uh, Joni Parkview. And I love I love the Sonic Poison logo. This black vinyl. My axe, uh, the axe slaughter splits, the only Sonic Poison I have that's on colored, like a colored 7 inch. But if you like classic 
grindcore from the 80s. You can't go wrong with Sonic Poison. Like, legit, you can't go wrong. And this is an MSUO 7 inch. And again, I'm pretty positive Caligari did the cassette. Now, here with Combat Grind, I have the Caligari cassette and the MSUO 7 inch. Caligari cassette with one of my favorite tracks, Jesus Crust, which great play on words, but straight to hell, combat grind, sum up to me the type of music Sonic Poison play. And look at this artwork, like, hell yes. I always was telling people, like, yo, one of the best modern Finnish bands. And most people would just be like, yeah. I love a good grind trio. Like, I just, there's something about it that's just like, hell yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I just, I love it. Pig Destroyer, before they had a bassist, live was kind of weird. Like, at first. But then, it was like, like, once they got, I felt once they added a bass player, everything sounded way too tight. And I was like, ah, like, I don't know. I'd rather listen to the Pink Destroyer demo and Prower in the Yard, and I'm good. I'm sorry, but I'll be real with you. So, after Combat Grind, I was like, alright, like, I wonder what's next. So, when the full length dropped, I was just so stoked that it was on Caligari first off, but like I said, if, the, if it got a 12 inch, I have never seen one in the wild. Meaning like I've never seen a copy on Instagram, anything like that. So kind of weird because I would assume MSUO did the vinyl for Eruption, because, like I said, this is so goddamn good. And again, I feel like people just sleep on how good Sonic Poison really is, and I really hope that. I don't know if this is, this might be out of print, but I know for a fact that grinding leftovers is not grinded leftovers I'm sorry but it's just I, I, I fucking love this stuff and it never gets old I just uh, and I love using the term sonic poison so just like the if you like, okay, punk mixed with Repulsion-esque grind, come on, this is Poser Disposing Grindcore, and I wish Realms of Comfort still existed. But if you are new to Sonic Poison... Like, I would love to tell you this is a great starting point. Because it, it is, but, like, honestly, Combat Grind and Eruption. Harsh Demonstration is all... You know what? They're, they're all... This is legit one of the few modern bands I can straight up say there's... Not a song where I'm like, that was fucking weak. No, 
Sonic Poison have always, to me, delivered the goods. Like, again, I'm missing Harsh Demonstration on cassette, so we'll get the... Hey, I'll trade the 7-inch for a tape. If anybody has the Harsh Demonstration cassette, yo, hit me up. I'll, I'll legit, I, I will trade you the 7-inch for the tape. For real, like 100%. Just uh, my turntable's weird with 7 inches, so I just have a problem sometimes playing them. So a lot of my favorite 7 inches haven't been played in like 3 years. So, yeah. It's one of those, like, that's why like I, I'm very happy to have Combat Grind on cassette. Because I listen to it, like, when it comes to Sonic Poison, like I said... Especially if I'm kind of, like, in a hurry, but I want to listen to, like, something vicious. I'll throw on Combat Grind, get my kicks in, and I'm set. And now, with Grinded Leftovers, same thing. Like, it's just enough to be like, alright, like, well, let's go. Like, you know, it, it's good shit. And I'm sure this is going to get vinyl treatment and it probably already has but i know for a fact iron corpse uh iron corpse they did uh my cranial torment reissue yeah iron corpse with the uh 1990 demo as well really really uh sick label Good stuff. But Sonic Poison, for all you grind freaks out there, grinded leftovers. If you're international, Iron Corpse. Sorry, Iron Corpse. International. USA, head split. And if you can get any of the back catalog of Sonic Poison... Eruption is the full length. Harsh Demonstration is demo number one to my knowledge. And Combat Grind, amazing EP slash demo. Eruption, just a grade A top shelf slab of finished grindcore. And now with Grinded Leftovers, I feel like it's a great companion piece for Eruption and... and I just, I'm a big Sonic Poison mark, and as I always say when I bring that type of stuff up, if it was at all mediocre, I would be very disappointed and I would let you know. So, if you're a fan of Grindcore, with a punk edge to it, and some repulsion worship, you're going to love Sonic Poison, Grinded Leftovers. Thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Infernal hails and gratitude. Peace. <laughs>